This is my sister Grace. She was born with a condition called achondroplasia, or dwarfism as it is more commonly known. I wish to find out in this documentary, despite her disability, if she is just like any other 15 year old girl. Grace, what's your hobbies and interests? Is there anybody like you look up to? Yeah, I look up to Jessie J because um, I like her music and I relate to her music because her songs are very true. Uh, and have you been to her concert? Yeah, I have on the 15th of October 2013. Um, it was really, really good. Do you listen to her music much? Yeah, I listen to her all the time. And you have all her calendars and her... Yeah. I have calendars and posters and our book. Grace has her music icons and role models, just like any other teenage girl. Although she looks different, I wanted to have Grace explain her condition in her own words. Um, it means that um, I have short arms and legs, and um, I'm the same size as a four-year-old and a three-year-old um, but I'm like a normal 15-year-old just I have short arms and legs and it's hard for me to reach stuff and well it affects me because I can't walk further it hurts me and um, it's hard for me to turn on the light and like open doors and um, it's hard for me to like reach stuff if I want a glass to get a drink of water. I need help. And it's hard for me to walk up the stairs because I can't walk straight. And um, I stopped going when I was 14, so I never want to go ever again. The disability, achondroplasia, affects around one in every 40,000 births. This has an effect on the family but most especially the parents, who never expect to have a disabled child. When Grace was first born, my first reaction was that uh, I was wondering if he was going to run it up there, like the day with it, and speaking to the psychiatrist afterwards, and she didn't think that what I was thinking was unusual, only I did. Since that time she was born, all that uh, all that meant I seen was the small baby born. She reminded me of the mm. uh, Michelin man, and I mean I just threw her um, away to them say. And then her father bathed her, fed her, and I mean I um, sat there watching her and going. Oh God, no, she's mine. So, I mean, it was about, she must have been about th three hours old before I, yeah. like, sort of, I bonded w with her, like. Would she be the same as any other, any, any other 15 year old apart, as far as her personality is concerned? Um. Not really. I mean, she wouldn't be as fun in that way about boyfriend. Um, she is with her m music way. Um, about style, no. Um, she wouldn't be as outgoing as most fifteen-year-olds. No. Doesn't have a whole lot of friends. Being born with a disability comes with its social difficulties.
like a friend now will say like Pakistan, like how you stand up. But I mean at the same time like they have to make up because you have never they have never seen someone yeah. born like gay. Yeah. And what about what about in the street? Would 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 people treat you differently? Um no not really, but like kids would just call me names of like chicken legs and midget and all but I just how does, that, how does that make you feel? Like, it makes me feel like I want to be normal, but sometimes I just, just go on. That's my business, just walk away. I'm sure you can tell by now that Grace is a strong little character, and she has aspirations for her career. I would like, I would like to be a nursery teacher because I like working with kids and, um, uh, I know like, I'll be able to mess about with them and help them and all because um, I wouldn't be letting anything happen.